Hey, V, wait a sec. Listen to that guy. How'd you rate his chops? To my untrained ear, sounds all right, I guess. I mean, it's easy listening at least. Know why? Technique second rate. But the feeling? That's what counts. Guy's hurt, got something he can't take, and it shows. Could stand a little more stage presence. Fingering's all wrong, loses the tempo more than he keeps it, but not bad. You really know how to give a guy a compliment. Is that how you got your start? Street busker with big dreams? Don't make me laugh. No time for playing my way to the top. Was too busy shaking the world awake. Being at the top can be worth it. You want to shake the world, you know. <laughs> well, the world's got to feel you first. And you pay for it. You spend your lyrics laying waste to the big record corpse. Who's going to sign you then? But give up your ideals, and no amount of eddies can buy them back. All right, princess. At least you play some gigs. So those... True. Played where we could. Parks, old factories, underground clubs. Had an audience from the start. Some recorded our stuff, didn't even know who we were. Ooh, mean to say I could get my hands on some old samurai bootlegs? Well, I'm gonna find those tapes. I'm gonna shriek like a little fangirl anytime you open your mouth. Happy? Just you fucking try. But jokes aside, you think those tapes still exist? After all these years? Hmm, you know, Rainbow Cadenza is not far from here. Club we played till the band fell apart. Great spot. Place for people with their heads on straight. Maybe they'll know something. Alright, so on our way to another mission, we stumbled across this mission. So, actually, I'm going to go ahead and open it up, since uh, we're following this one, why not? Let's go ahead and do that one first, and then we'll move on to the next one. Which, it's uh, not too far from here, it looks. I love stumbling uh, across these missions. Oh, by the way, I'm Sinistrano 1, and welcome to more Cyberpunk 2077. they turned your great spot into a slurp shop. Mindless fucking consumerism wins the day again. Point for the other team, huh? Huh. This is why you don't bring back fallen warriors. Sooner or later, they're gonna see everything they fought for is turned to shit. I'm ready. You're ready? Hey. Uh, hey, um... Rainbow Cadenza mean anything to you? Oh no, another one. Aren't you too young for this? To what now? Every day, some sad grandpa in his old leather comes in here, asks where is his old Rainbow Club. And I'm like a broken record. Tell all of them the cult brought them out 20 years ago. I should put up a sign. Know anything about any bootlegs from the Rainbow Cadenza days? Like, say, I don't know, uh, samurai stuff? Samurai. samurai. Oh, that ugly red face on black? Yeah, even I know that one. Old guy comes by here sometimes wearing their shirt. Spends the whole time yakking with his psycho fan friends. Wouldn't happen to know where I could find him. You can find him living back in the 2020s. <laughs> but besides that, he's out there at the moment. What's he selling? Organic strawberries and cream. What do you think? He sells ancient dusty tapes of ancient dusty indie bands. No one's heard of a single one of them. Green. Thanks. Hey, I'm looking for some good tunes. Got any laser pop? 
from the muskracks? Don't sell no scop here. You either want good music or rainbow bright shite. Chill, chum. It's just a joke. <laughs> laser pop. Fucking laser pop. Here, at my stand. I heard I can get some decent tunes here. What you mean by decent? We got Cartesian Duelist, Urdine stuff, Tainted Overlord. You mean Samurai? Shit, <laughs> you even gotta ask? Never fade away. Dancing with my axe, chipping in, you name it, we got it. Silverhand was the one true messiah of rock. I'd hand them records out like candy if I could. But a guy's gotta eat. I see I found Silverhand's biggest fan. And proud of it. Today's bitty box rockers can't even touch it. Silverhand had something they couldn't. Uh, a Silverhand? He had that fire, kid. Fire! Guy shook the foundations of the corporal world. He died for his ideals. Doesn't matter, he was also kind of a terrorist. Blaze way down the rebel path. I'm looking for the real deal. Like, say, bootlegs from Samurai's first gigs. Fuck. First, you have got no idea what you're asking for. Not if you're so, so chilled about it. Don't know how you found out about them bootlegs, but forget it. Not gonna give them to the first gonk off the street. I ain't a poser. I know everything there is to know about Silverhand. Go on. Impress me. Know what he told Carrie the last time they met. Fuck this band. Not your crowd. Not your noise. Do your own thing. Yeah, sure. I could think up a million conversations they had. There were no witnesses. Did the first gonk off the street know what they tell new Arasaka suits? They say, if a collar in training doesn't make deadline, the ghost of a man split in two will get him. Of course, nobody remembers the ghost. It's Johnny. All right. I'm impressed, getting someone from Saka to tell you that. You're not joking. You're really a Silverhand fan. The closest thing to a glacier in the past. When the other kids were learning chrome crayons, I already had chipping in down by heart. <laughs> well said, kid. Getting a little misty-eyed. You're all right. Hey, anyways, gotta educate the youth. Maybe you'll find something special under the table. Come on, have at it. Oh, it's free too. Look at that. So, I think if you don't smooth talk him, that you actually have to pay for it. But uh, since we were able to smooth talk him, we get. Nice and free. Wow, that shirt is $11,000 for just this shirt alone. That's crazy. 11,000 credits. It does have four clothing mod slots, but... Much appreciated. Take it. Spread the good silver hand word. Get the you know, they say time is the best teacher. Used to think that was true. But look at that guy. 60 at least, but still living in 2020. The guy's your biggest fan. You not happy to meet him? Busaka Tower to smithereens, and it's still standing there. Just the same. Don't want people getting stuck in a rut, stuck in the past. Want them to change. Them and the world. In 60 years, something must have changed. You know what changed? The damn facade. Fresh interface plugs, new high fructose scop syrup, and fun fruity flavors. A new face of Arasaka, same old shit, different packaging. Well, something's changed. Maybe we can't see it, but it's change all the same. Sure, 
Now almost nobody remembers when a person wasn't just a meat bag full of secondhand implants. Well, there you go. Job complete. The Ballad of Buck Ravers. So, this was something that we just, you know, randomly came across. Um, just because I was heading towards, uh, specifically, uh, this mission, which is talking about a revolution. So, we're going to go ahead and move on to that one as well. It's a little bit further away, and I'm trying to remember where in the heck. Let's see if we can get out this way. Judy, so, you got a plan? Damn right I do. Come over to mine tonight. Gonna lay the groundwork with Tom and Roxy. They're with us. Michael will be here too. How'd you manage that? Got something really big. Tell you everything tonight. Last thing, what do you like on your pizza? That's totally not what I like. Locust pepperoni? A and A. Artichokes and avocado flavor. And zucchini for good measure. Cool, fancy. So, I'll see you come evening. You gonna tell me this big secret of yours? Figured out how to tweak behavioral chips. Turn dolls into fighters. Sounds like my kind of plan. We'll go over the specifics tonight. You're coming, right? Of course I'll be there. It says wait until evening. Well, it, it kind of is evening. But sure, alright, I guess we just gotta wait here. Ah, shit! Hey V, come on in. Pizza's getting cold. We're in the kitchen. You made it. Good. Grab a seat. This is Roxanne. She's worked at Clouds longer than any of us. Hello. Nice to meet you. When I heard what you pulled at Clouds, shit, I so regretted I was off that day. Just eat the free pizza and then we're out of here, okay? Were you and Evelyn close? Yeah. Blew up in her face when she showed up back at Clouds. She was supposed to be long gone, the one who got away. But deep in my heart, I was glad to see her back. She likes such a gonk now. Come here cause... you want payback for what happened to her? That's for sure. But I just wanna have a normal job too. No fears, no tears, you know? You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? So, change your mind, huh? Quickly, too. I'm here. Doubt I need to explain why. Here's the thing. Gonna insist you explain. If we're to pull this off, I need to be sure you're all in. And know why you're all in. You don't know the first thing about clouds, do you? Hiromi Sato and the other Tiger Claw bosses see and hear everything that goes on there. 
I didn't get this far by shouting all my plans from the window. By the way, Boris didn't show up for work today. Or yesterday. No shit, I wonder why. I got sick, maybe. We're at the lottery jackpot. Bought himself a ticket to the moon. Hmm, could be anything. Done saying hello to each other? Revolution won't plan itself. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a preem tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. You'll air it out later. Fine, I'll sit by the window. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on top. Chip's impulses supplant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. Solo skills don't lie in just executing movements. The split-second processes that happen, logistics, decision-making, result of years of practice. Doubt your chip's capable of compensating for that. You're probably right, but I don't see another way. Alternatives intensive training, but we don't have time for that. All right, so it says we need reflexes level six. I don't think I have... Yeah, so I don't have another point in order to, to put that into reflexes, so... How'd you ever come up with this? Learned how the behavioral chip works at Clouds. Always seemed like they must be pretty easy to modify. I'm surprised I didn't get the idea the moment we walked into Michael's office. Count yourself lucky. What with all the cams and mics and clouds? Tiger Claws would sooner dig those chips out of the dolls with screwdrivers than let an idea like this run its course. All right. Gotta see it to believe it. Finally. Someone said it. Tom? Pulled that sequence from a Kung Fu training virtue. Gotta admit, not bad. Yeah, for the market square in Kabuki. Uh, before we start talking serious biz, gonna need to see serious action. You just saw him. I saw a bar trick. I want to see a fight. Got an expert in causing bodily harm among us. I want to see how Tommy handles him. V? Just don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. It's on now! Some reports suggest some of the violent vagrants may have entered. What the? Ah. You there? Can you hear me? Ha <laughs> ha! Look at me go! You see that? Woo! Now, nice gotta do sport, some cardio! Outdid yourself. If you were to sell that, <laughs> you'd be the richest Judy in the NUSA. Please. Plenty of killing machines in the world. I don't want to turn more people into them. After this, chips are getting micro-nuked. V? If you got something to say, just say it. Who, me? This is my impressed face. Okay, okay. That probably sells it. The chip works. Let's get to it then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down, disarm, escort them out. Clouds will be ours. Bosses will give an ultimatum. A cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again. And having no say in how the club's managed. 
That's what I thought. A half-baked, insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato is the man you gotta get to. Hiromi Sato? Who's that? Cloud's real boss. He rarely shows, but you can't so much as sneeze without him finding out. Claws trust him, respect his opinion. He is one of them. We can try to convince him, but it's doubtful. We stand a better chance by injecting him with a dose of fear. Where do we find this, Hiromi? At his apartment, H8 Mega Tower, topmost floor. It's a penthouse, almost never steps outside its glass walls. But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. Tom and Roxanne gonna come with? No. Hole points to strike both places at the same time. They'll take care of business at Cloud. Two pronged assault. Loving it. It's just my work. If we get him in his apartment, where he thinks he's completely safe, bosses will understand what we're looking to demonstrate. My, my. There's a flickering in that skull sponge of yours after all. So how about it, V, Tom, Roxy? Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know. I'm with it all the way. V? Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. Sticking our precious necks out for a bunch of whores? Rather not have to flatline anyone. What he said. Hope is, it won't be necessary. Overpower Hiromi. Humiliate him. Should be enough. Bosses will put him out of the game. Hello. Count me in, Judy. I already said I'd help, didn't I? Thanks, V. Save the gratitude for later, please. Oh, shit, I'll set up the meet with Hiromi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Michael, hold up. Give us a lift. Only if you don't talk to me. I feel a migraine coming on. Oh, shit. I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do will usually come to the price tag, I know. You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Feels like it's only right. All right. Thanks. Nice of you to think of that. Ah, uh, don't mention it. Oh. Oh. Uh, ah. V, everything okay? V, you don't look so hot. Uh, uh, okay. Okay, I'm better. Fine. What the hell, V? You, like, sick? Remember the heist Evelyn hired us for? The relic I was gonna clep. <sighs> Couldn't forget that in a million years. That biochip. Well, long story short, it had Johnny Silverhand's mind on it. An engram of it that's overriding my mind. You being serious? Truly wish I wasn't. Fuck. Anything at all you can do? One can hope. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. Sounds great. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Make yourself at home. Excuse me. Sorry about that. V? The information from Okada-san. Very valuable. I also learned something through my own efforts. We must meet. 
Where'll it be this time? Trash processing plant? Deserted end cart station? In the south of Japantown, there is a street market. It is on the footbridge above the main street. Use the elevators. It is easy to get lost. I am on my way there. Do not make me wait. All right, as you can see, just completed the down on the street one. There's a few things, I guess, here. Didn't know she dabbled in robotics. Now that's fucking Shimra. Think that's how she winds down? After a day's work of tuning hardcore smut? Wouldn't be surprised. Huh, interesting. Place looks like a fucking antique museum. Then I guess you should feel right at home. Chick's got taste. That all you have to say? And she's nice. Six out of ten. Yeah, sorry about my dog. He's uh, kind of going a little crazy in the background there. Well, well, well. The Bushido collection in BD format. First three are collector's items nowadays. Looks like we got some more of the beat on the brat fights. Someone likes getting their feet wet. Don't need to be an expert to tell the gears pro. Who would have thought? Perilous future. Electropunk? I'd rather puke out my ears. I feel like they messed that up. I feel like they want you to go in there, but they don't allow you to. I don't actually know where she went because she's she's not here. But uh, see, she's in the bathroom. I like that she's got a TV in the bathroom. Well, all right. Well, it looks like that's going to be it for this video. There's still a lots of things for us to do. Obviously, we have the Gimme Danger mission. We also have um, this mission that we can do, leading with her in the future. It's not... We don't have access to it just yet, because I think you have to wait a few hours before you do. Um, it says leave the building, so... All right, there we go. 28th Street cred. I, did we just also... No. So we, even though we leveled up, we still didn't level up to 19. We're very, very close. As you can see, we're on that edge. So we're almost there. But that's going to be it for this video. We did two missions in this one. Uh, and then, of course, next up, we've got uh, to continue on with Judy's mission as well as Give Me Danger, which is going to be a big story mission. So hopefully you all are enjoying. It's been I still think that if you look, just I mean, 
look at that. How, how do you think this passes any type of inspection? Look at this. It's, it's so bad. I mean, you, you don't even look like you're a human. You look like you're an alien. Your body is, like, so skinny and your arms are so skinny and you have the longest of legs. It just looks so weird, you know? But, um, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.